Good morning, this is John with Nashville Travel Concierge and today's question that I'm asked is, you haven't gone anywhere for seven weeks, all you do is answer questions. Are we ever going to go anywhere? Well guess what? Today we will. We're going to the zoo. And here we are driving towards Southwest Nashville. And if you look on your right, you'll see the skyline of, of Nashville. And you can actually see the Batman building in the center there. And again, as we slow down, we can see on the right-hand side, Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. You're watching this on the BioCab dash cam that I received for Christmas this year. This is a 170 degree uh, car cam with night vision. It has a parking monitor and a loop recording system. I am placing my Amazon affiliate a link below. And if you check it out, you'll be amazed at the price. At times like these, it's nice to have some sort of recording to show what's going on around our vehicle. Okay, so here we are at the Nashville Zoo and actually I made this trip a few days ago, but I'm going to make it easy on you. You don't have to do the uh, uh, near one hour drive over to the zoo and uh, you don't have to wear a mask. If you come to Nashville uh, at this time, in order to go to the zoo, you need to go on the website and buy the tickets ahead of time. That's right now. I don't know how it's going to be later on this summer, but right now in April, you have to get your tickets ahead of time. When you get to the zoo, you have to wear a mask. When you go through the gate, you have to have one on and throughout the, uh, the entire time there, I understand it's outside, but you have to wear a mask until they change their rules. That said, just like any other time you go to a, a, an Audi like the zoo, you never know what you're going to see or what you're not going to see. So I took several videos and pictures and whatnot, and I'm going to give you a little bit of information about them, and you'll see the videos as I talk. First, I want to show you the southern white rhinos, which until 1895, they were believed to be extinct, but in South Africa, in a town that... I can't pronounce the name of. Uh, almost 100 were found and from that uh, the, uh, the herd had increased but these are the, uh, the southern white rhinos that are here at the zoo. Next we're going to go over to the Peruvian guinea pigs. These are a very social uh, animal and uh, one of the unique things about them is that they, when they run at a high speed and jump, they're able to turn their bodies in another direction so that when they land, they can go in that direction right away without having to make the turn on, uh, on the ground. I thought that was kind of interesting. The first animal, which is a bird, uh, that you see when you get into the zoo is the Hyacin macaw. They can easily or quickly uh, mimic uh, human voices that they hear and also uh, they eat a, a palm nut that the growers had to develop a stronger shell uh, for, the, for them to eat properly and uh, so I thought that was interesting. Next we have the saddle billed stork. This is the largest stork in the world and I, what I found interesting is that the way you tell the difference between male and female is that females have yellow eyes and males have brown eyes. And now we're going to go back to a mammal again. This is the eland. And the eland is both a, a bovide and it is an antelope. And it is the largest uh, bovide in, on the African continent. And it's also the slowest antelope. Now let's go over to something that's a lot more fun to watch, the flamingos. Flamingos are found in uh, salty lagoons or salty areas of inlets uh, off the ocean. And one of the interesting things I found was that they have the ability to uh, live off of salt water, which is pretty good since uh, that's really what they uh, live in, is salt water. Now we're going to take a look at the giraffes. Your average giraffe have legs that are usually at least six feet in length, 
which means that with the extension of their bodies, they're pretty tall. And they're able to run a short distance at 35 miles an hour. Long distance, they can run 10 miles per hour. And now we're going to look at one of my favorite uh, animals at the zoo, a reptile, the Adabra tortoise. And they can live very old. Uh, some have lived up to 250 to almost 300 years. Here's another one of my favorites, the Maracats. They're adorable and uh, they have uh, several different uh, places at the zoo. Same location, but different angles you can look at them. And they're not afraid of people at all. They'll come up and they'll look at you. They just stand there. They're cute. And, and they have retractable claws that they use to dig in the earth and to grab things. Also, along their eyes, they have uh, dark patches that serve them as uh, like sunglasses. And now we're going to look at Baird's Taper. And uh, Taper is a Brazil Brazilian Indian word that means thick. The national animal of Belize is a female Baird Taper named April. Now let's go over and look at the red kangaroos. They have a section in the zoo set aside that you can actually walk uh, through the section and you're You've got kangaroos to your left and to your right, and uh, certain times of the day, of the day uh, they'll come up to you and uh, let you pet them, and uh, they're more active than other times of the day. You'll see in uh, some of my videos how they're kind of laying around doing doing nothing. There's, it's hot, and but if you get there about nine o'clock in the morning, between nine and ten, and go right there. Uh, they're a lot more active. And now we're going to look at another bird, the Rhinosaurus hornbill. The hornbill is important in Malaysia because they are one of the chief seed spreaders uh, throughout the country. Another thing I found interesting about the hornbill is that they normally they mate for life and when they have young they will seal them up in the nest and provide them with food until they feel that their young are old enough to uh, go out into the world. And coming up now we have the Andean bear, which uh, is one of the smaller bears uh, that exists. They are about five to six feet tall and weigh probably no more than 340, 350 pounds. At the Nashville Zoo, they have uh, put together an area uh, related to uh, Ecuador and South America. And uh, this is where you'll find the, the these bears, uh, the guinea pigs and uh, other animals. Uh, that live in that region. It's pretty cool. And finally, we went to the, uh, or I went to the Allura Keat uh, Pavilion, and it's a place you can walk in. Uh, you can feed them. You go into this uh, space where there's nets all around, and and they're flying around, and they'll land on you. And you, like again, you can feed them. They're, you know, very f people friendly, and uh, it's a great experience. That appears to be all I have, so uh, please hit like if you enjoyed the uh, video, and if you'd like to subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, tell me which animal is your favorite, tell me which uh, animal's names I mispronounced, anything you want to comment about, I will comment back. And thank you so much for stopping by, I hope you have a great week, and I'll have another video ready for you next week.